Mate and the distinguished vice chairman of the Rules Committee, Mr. Burgess, three minutes. The gentleman from Texas is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman from Oklahoma. I rise today to speak in support of the rule and the underlying legislation, including within the rule is uh, measure is HR 3746, the Fiscal Responsibility Act. So, <clears throat> fortunately, the Fiscal Responsibility Act makes worthwhile reforms that will safeguard America's solvency. 100 days, Mr. Speaker, that's how long President Biden flirted with economic calamity because he was too stubborn to come to terms with a new political reality. The American people did not send a Republican majority to continue business as usual. Mr. Speaker, the typical business as usual where elected lawmakers come together in a lame duck session and knock the bottom out of the country's finances. Well, no more, Mr. Speaker. With the passage of this legislation, Republicans are putting America back on a sound fiscal footing by reducing non-discretionary funding, reforming entitlement programs, and adding requirements that Congress pass its 12 appropriations bills on time. That is a massive change from the status quo. I credit our, our fellow Rules Committee member, Thomas Massey, for the concept of including this in the, in the, in the debt limit bill because if the appropriators cannot pass all 12 of their appropriations bills by September 30th, it automatically goes to a continuing resolution with a 1% reduction. That's the first time that that has ever happened. So we have budget enforcement, in fact, without blowing up the filibuster over in the Senate, and we all know what that could lead to. No one can say they got everything they wanted in this bill. And candidly, I don't think the reforms, the per permitting reforms are, are nearly enough. The NEPA reform included in this bill is an important first step, but there is no question that we will need to do much more. The full faith and credit of the United States is preserved with this legislative product. And bear that in mind, if the United States were to default on its debt, there actually is another country, the People's Republic of China, who would like to be the reserve currency of the world. We will not give them that chance when we pass this bill. I commend uh, Patrick McHenry and, and Garrett Graves for their hard work in bringing us this vital piece of legislation. Commend the speaker for bringing it to a vote on the floor today after 72 hours for members to read and understand the bill. I urge everyone to support the rule and support the underlying legislation. I yield back to my friend from Oklahoma. Gentlemen.